Hey YouTube, is everything Apple's Pro here. As a video, I'm excited to show how to jailbreak iOS 7.1 Beta 3. That was just released to developers and beta testers earlier today. Um, I want to show how to jailbreak that untethered on all devices. Now I'm going to be showing this on the iPhone 5S since it's the newest 8.7 device for the iPhone for iOS. And I'm showing this on a brand new software that was released earlier today to developers or beta testers. And there's really not too many brand new features in Beta 3, but probably the biggest change or feature is the new side the power off label or user interface on that. I'm not a big fan of it. To me, it looks like too much about the Maverick software. It just looks kind of like that with the white X button and the weird looking label there, but or the user interface there, but you can definitely check the video out down in the description below where I'll have down there how to easily install Beta 3 and the full features list. So that's just one feature, and I would like to know down in the description, I'm sorry, down in the comments section below if you do like Beta 3 if you're running it and what you think about the new slide the power off user interface or label. I have talked to a lot of people via social media and they have been telling me they don't like it and I'm one of those people that really don't like it. I don't really want uh, the Maverick software on my device completely. Um, but there's a couple other features too, like the apps are tinted, and as you can see, here's the in user interface now for the phone dialer, it's a little bit newer, tinted blue user interface, and a green button that is circular. It looks a little bit different, I don't really like it too much, but I would like to know, like I said, in the comments section, if you do like the new software and what you think about the side of the power off label or user interface on it. Now, if you go ahead and, right now, if you install Evasion 7, officially from the Evaders version 1.0.2 and open it up. It says, sorry, the version of iOS, and there's the f official build number. It's 11D5127C of the attached device, which is my iPhone 5S, is not supported, and it's grayed out for jailbreaking, so it won't let me jailbreak. And I've seen that before, and someone basically was able to Go into the code I can show, I'll actually show in a second how to do it, but you just go into the code in Evasion 7 and you basically just add the official beta build number, which is that build number I just read for beta 3 of 7.1 into Evasion 7 to make it supported. And then you just close out of it, save it, and you open it back up and it'll work. So as you can see here, here's the modified version of Evasion 7, the same build and everything. It says it's compatible of my with my iPhone 5S with 7.1 Beta 3. And it even says I'm already jailbroken, so jailbreaking is not recommended again. Um, I've already done it. I'm not going to redo it, but as you can see, my jailbreak button is not grayed out, and it could work completely fine. Now, I'll actually go ahead and open it up and just show you what they did or the person who edited it did. Now, like I said, it is an unofficial beta build, or not a beta build, but just an unofficial build, and you can just open up the exec file and a text editor right here. That is the big file, which is 15.8 or 15.6 megabytes. And basically then you just go over here and you could go to edit, find, and then just search for the beta 2 build number. And then you go here and there's all the build numbers it supports right here. I'll go ahead and uh, click it so you can see what it looks like in blue. There's the, all the beta or I'm sorry, all the builds right here that's supported. And basically the person who modified it just went in and added the Beta 3 software that build I read earlier, uh, the 11B, or I'm sorry, 11D5127C build number right here for Beta 3. They just added it, and then edit, edited it, closed it, and saved it, and then they went in and reopened it, and then it allowed to go ahead and open that and run it completely fine on beta 3. Now that link for downloading this modified version will be down in the description below and I can say it 100% works. I'm 100% backing this. Now I do note that it is a unofficial build of Evasion 7 so if you don't want to mess with these, this uh, unofficial build not by the evaders uh, released. Uh, basically the person who edited it just did what I just said just open it up and just what I just showed I uh, just added the beta build so it really did nothing else and edited nothing else. It'll work completely fine and as you can see here's my iPhone 5S untethered jailbroken and here's the official build number again for 7.1 beta 3 as you can see here if you haven't seen already. 
and that is the official build number of beta 3 and I've already shown the slide the power off 